Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. What a day. People, what a day. My day was so busy I never got to pick up my camera. It's six o'clock at night and I'm in bed. That's how busy my day was. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. I love you so much. Give me a second. Okay, so here's what you missed. <laughs> here's what you missed. There's a light out there. Um, okay, so this morning I woke up. Today's day was emotionally up and down and up and down and up and down. So, I woke up this morning. I had a great sleep. I had a great morning. They actually woke me up when they came in for a changeover, which is kind of weird. Usually I'm up before that. I'm usually up at like 645. But I woke up at midnight to pee and I couldn't fall back to sleep like I would do when I was home, which makes me feel good. Um, so, I fell back to sleep about... 2 30 3 30 around there somewhere and i woke up at seven when they came in for the changeover so i wasn't really 100 percent really rested but it was okay i felt good so i got up i got uh my brace on and i went to the bathroom and then i came out and then i found out that the um uh occupational therapist was coming in at nine so i was like oh let me just sit in my chair for like an hour after breakfast i ate breakfast here in bed and then I went to the bathroom and I waited for the occupational therapist in the recliner for about an hour. And then when she came, we got dressed. Uh, we talked about some personal hygiene things that I'm gonna work on when I get home that with the brace, I now have these uh, these extra limitations like how to shower with, you have to use these all these equipment. You have to use equipment to shower, you have to use equipment to toilet, you have to use equipment to get dressed. All of these things are things I have to consider because I cannot bend because of my spine. And of course my leg, I cannot stand because of my leg right now. So it was like, okay, we feel good. We suck. Okay, good. Okay, good. Like that, right? Then I had about an hour to wait for, actually it was about 45 minutes to wait for the physical therapist. And when the physical therapist came, I had some things to ask her about, like a, um, a portable chair ramp. Jimmy wants to get a portable chair ramp so he doesn't have to worry about um, lift, like tilting me up onto the, uh, into the house. So we're going to get one that's like portable and removable. And I found one on Amazon. I have a, I have a whole little like shopping list that I called accessibility on my Amazon. And it's just sort of like, as I find the things that I will still compare, you know, a lot of times you like see something you're like, Ooh, that was a really cool, that was a really cool, cool two foot, um, ramp for $99. And if you don't save it to a list, even though it's not the one you not, may necessarily end up buying, you may never find it again, um, which is kind of crazy. So they kind of like feel like you want to like bookmark it and then save it to a list or save it to a wish list. But then there's, you don't need nine of them in your wish list. But as you shop, you find ones that become better and this is better and this is better. So anyhow, I did that. I did that. And I also found a pair of gloves. Now, I don't know, did I actually show you guys my gloves? You saw my gloves in the video yesterday, which by the way, I'm so sorry about the video yesterday. Nobody told me that it didn't go live at 8 a.m. And actually, I kind of feel like the CEO did. <laughs> Cause like, I didn't see a video today and I never even thought to look because I've been so, I was so busy. So I found a pair of what they're actually cycling gloves, but my therapist said that that would be really good for the wheelchair. So what I'm having is like purple thumbs because without the gloves, pushing my thumb like using my thumb to push the wheelchair is sort of um an issue so the first day i was doing without it she got me these gloves that they have here that they supplied and they were perfect um they all the fingers are cut off except the thumb but then i was like they're kind of manly and they're okay but they're a little large so then i went and found a pair on amazon that are actually cycling gloves and when she looked at them she's like those would be fine and they're pretty and they have butterflies on them so I also found like a new personal hygiene assistant that's longer so I can maybe probably take care of myself. And then I found some portable bidets. They're just like basically a squirt bottle with long hose, but none of them are super long. So I'm gonna check some medical supply places, other things. I'm just gonna check other things. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> so it's been like an ebb and flow kind of day. You know, I asked her how this was and how this was and all of these things kept going on. and. Um, then I had good therapy and then I was like all like at all the therapy that we did today. We did all of the stuff that we normally do. We did a little bit of extra stuff 
today and when we were doing this one new thing, I was like, oh my God, my good leg is so tired. And she's like, you've done a lot today. And I was like, really? I didn't even realize it was extra. She's like, I didn't help you with all of these things that normally I can help you with. So that was like really kind of awesome. So, um, I went and got weighed, which I, we were so sure I was going to have like so much weight loss. However, it didn't show much weight loss. It showed a little, but not much. And I was like, well, maybe it's because my muscles are building. Like right now I feel like my core is really strong. Like when I go like tighten my core, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. Cause you guys are like, what? There's so much fat. But when I like tighten my core, it feels really tight, you know? So I don't know. Maybe I'm just dreaming. Maybe I'm maybe I'm fantasizing about having a a keg. No, um, I lost my glasses. Anyway, so um, I finished an art project. I did. Um, oh, and then I came in my room, and I came to do finish physical therapy in my room. She wanted me to do full leg lifts. And she's like, lay down on the bed. And I took off my brace because when we go into the onto the mat in the in the physical therapy gym, I take off my brace because um, I can do I have better range of motion without the brace. So she wants to show me leg lifts. So I take off my brace, and she's like, "Yeah, you taking off your brace?" And I was like, "Is that okay?" And she's like, "Sure, whatever." So I lay down, and I we did the leg lifts and all the things. And Are you okay? Okay. Um, not that I can do anything, but call help, call for help. So, um, so I was doing like full leg lifts and then I was like, I'm so tired. Like my physical body, my leg, my good leg is like really weak. My weak leg is super weak. And I was just like, I think I'm just going to like lay here. I'll eat lunch in the bed. I knew I didn't have the group therapy until one. So today my lunch, you know, like lunch, I told you breakfast is at seven, lunch is at 12 dinner's at five and you know usually within a half an hour of that because by the time they serve everybody 12 15 12 30 the nurse said I called down she said they said it's on its way up I said okay because I have an apple from breakfast and I have my peanut butter because I'm like if I I have to go to therapy at one o'clock and I can always just have that snack it'll tie me over and then 12 15 at 12 45 one o'clock five to one and they're like I just called again, it's on its way up for real this time. And I was like, okay. So then therapy comes and goes and they're like, don't go to therapy, you have to eat, you're diabetic. And I was like, okay. So I'm waiting and waiting and 115 and 120 and 30 and then 145, everybody else gets their lunch but me and the next door neighbor. Oh. So at 145, when the group was over, the therapist who does group, who's my oh, occupational therapist in the morning, she comes in and she says, let's do, uh, I was going to give you some one-on-one -on -one time because you weren't able to come to group. And I was like, still haven't had my lunch. So she's like, is there anything you want to work on arm um, exercises or whatever? I said, well, I was really looking forward to the chair yoga with the group. Cause I love my group. I love the group setting. Um, she's like, I know. And so we did some chair yoga, which I was really happy about. She put on this really great music and in the middle of the chair yoga, like halfway through my lunch came. And it wasn't exactly what I ordered, but it was good enough. It was good because I basically get the gluten-free pasta with no sauce and the chick grilled chicken. They gave me gluten-free pasta with the sauce with the grilled chicken. And the sauce is okay. It's not, you know, you can't really spice it all up because a lot of people have diet restrictions. But that's why I usually don't get the sauce. Um, so I really didn't eat the pasta. I just ate the chicken. I ate the broccoli. And then as I was eating the jello, I was like, you know what? I think we only have a few more minutes for therapy. I so said, I can eat the rest of it. I'm, I feel good enough. Like the chicken, eating the chicken and broccoli made me feel energized enough to go ahead and have more therapy. So she went ahead and she got me a weight, a two pound weight, see it there, um, that I can use. I hope you got, guys get to see it. That I, um, she gave me some arm, uh, like a sheet with arm exercises on it. So we did all these arm exercises in chairs, bicep curls, uh, butterflies, all these things. So for your triceps, for your biceps, for your quads. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so I did all that. But here's what happened. While I'm waiting for my lunch, I get a phone call from my sister. 
she has an emergency and she can't come back. Definitely not for an extended period of time. So I am not worried about the fact that she can't come back. I'm more worried about her. I'm more worried about her and her situation. And then I was worried about her car, but she said she hasn't worked out and that's fine. So then I um, ate my lunch and had therapy. And then I called, actually I called my other sister cause I didn't know that she didn't know about my other sister's emergency. I didn't know it all had just happened. Like, and I was like, almost like the first one here. So I called my sister Alicia and I was like, so when you come in and she's like, what? And I was like, yeah, you know, cause I, so Julie can't come back. And she was like, what happened? And I was like, oh my God, you didn't even know. So I told her and she, I said, I was just joking. I don't need you to come. <laughs> I just thought it would be funny. Um, so, <laughs> so, um, I have a ride home and I have a ride to the doctor and then I have, um, a ride to the doctor for the, like the next few appointments. So we're all good in the hood people. So thank you all for thinking of me and praying for me. You guys are amazing. Um, I got my clothes today. My Amazon package has finally arrived. I know exactly how to word exactly how people need to, oh, that, don't mind that boo-boo, exactly how people need to come and deliver stuff to here. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Huh? I got green carded today. So a green card means is that I'm allowed to work without staff. I'm allowed to I can't walk, obviously, still, but I am allowed to transport myself, take myself to the bathroom, take myself to the closet, go from the bed to the wheelchair, the wheelchair to the chair, the chair to the bed, the bed to the walker, the walk. I can't walk on the walker, but I can use it to trans to transport myself um, if I need to. I can do that all by myself. So now I can sit up, put on my brace, and go to the bathroom in the morning when I need to without any help. I do still need help because I'm not allowed to wipe myself yet, but we're going to working on that. That's why we're still in therapy. We have things to work on. So as good as it's going, obviously I still have really far to go. Um, obviously. I mean, today is Friday. We're watching this on Saturday, but today is Friday. And as of Tuesday, Tuesday will be two weeks complete therapy. And I go home on Wednesday. So... I am super excited. Actually, two weeks is not complete therapy because Tuesday was my evaluation day. So Wednesday will be two weeks, um, two weeks of therapy. So, um, and I had off on Thanksgiving, right? Okay. So today's day 10. Um, today was a really good therapy day. Um, I got way more one-on-one -on -one time than I, than I usually am used to, um, which was good. But I feel like it's funny because there was like one day this weekend I just passed where I needed like that time to rest. Maybe it was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe it was last Friday, maybe it was last Saturday, I don't remember, but I felt like today was that same way where it just felt like I got in bed and I took my brace off and then my lunch took forever and I was like, maybe I wasn't supposed to go to group today. Maybe I wasn't supposed to have group yoga, I don't know. But anyhow, um, Today also was Christmas movies on the hospital channel. The recreational therapist puts on Christmas movies. Today we watched White Christmas. And it was funny because White Christmas came on at 12. And I was like, oh, I'm only going to get to see an hour of it because I have to go to therapy. And it ended up being able to watch the whole thing because my lunch didn't come till 2.20. Um, and then we watched um, Muppet Christmas Carol, which I love. And now I'm watching Freeform, 25 Days of Christmas, because uh, the Santa Claus is on. So, you know, you can't get enough. Cause we need a little Christmas right this very minute. So, um, yeah, that's it. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you always for being with me, for praying for me, for encouraging me, for keeping me going every day. I really cannot tell you what it means to me in um in my like in my soul it gives me soul strength yesterday as i mentioned it and you didn't really see it until late so i'm sorry but yesterday i mentioned it was a really sad day yesterday but it ended up being like a good day today was just like a good day today was a really good day it just kept getting better and better so um that's it i i am super happy to be here with you guys for you guys near you guys um and I'm really super happy to um, 
share this journey with you. I cannot wait to go home and then start chemotherapy again. Um, the funny part is I probably could have gone home last Wednesday if we weren't waiting for my sister who now isn't coming. So it's kind of an ironic turn of events, but I believe absolutely 100% that God has a plan for everything and there's a reason for everything he does. So if this is the case, then she was not supposed to come back now and then I was not supposed to go home now and something was supposed to be that we're learning. We're learning something from this event. So um, there's tons of different lessons to be learned. Um, and we'll figure out which one was supposed to be meant for us, okay? Listen, I love you guys. I want you to all remember that if nobody else has told you today that you are loved, remember that I love you. And I will never stop, I promise. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.